hello friends um, today uh, we are will uh, discuss regarding the sql statements how we can write the sql statement um, uh, we'll start from the basics initially start from the basic sql statement and uh, gradually we'll move to the medium to high advanced sql statement so um, uh, i will be using the sql server as a database and um, we'll be using sql developer for the front door uh, to write the sql statement and get the retrieve the results so what is the basic thing of sql the sql is nothing but structure query language the uh, the programmer writes the statement and gives the instruction to the database to get the retrieve the result from the particular uh, tables in the database or from the multiple tables and get the desired output so we'll start with uh, uh, a known employee table how we can retrieve the records from the employee table so if you want to retrieve records from employee table for ex example if you want to retrieve all records from the employee table so you can simply write the select star from employee and hit the execute button so what you can see here you can see the 14 records in the employee table its uh, columns displays employee name name job manager hire date salary commission and department that's the basic thing and this is all the records and if you want to retrieve uh, selected columns for example employee number and employee name for example and do not require any other records uh, let's take one more salary and hit the execute button you will see employee number employee name and salary this is all the reports again and if you want the condition wise records for example if you want uh, employee name which is equals to for example link 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 colon and if you hit the button you will get a, a single record from the employee table for example uh, uh, similarly if you want uh, multiple records uh, means multiple employees record uh, we say text uh, employee names linkly as well as if you take um, Jackson with other employee and if you want to read the records from Jackson of Jackson and the Lincoln so you can write the SQL statement this way and if you hit the button you will get two records Lincoln and Jackson um, uh, similarly um, for example uh, here there are different different condition uh, as you know uh, we'll see one by one for example uh, the conditions like equal to as you see first statement employee name equal to Jackson or Lincoln uh, other other are in condition which you can put the uh, multiple uh, values to get the result from the employee table like Lincoln Jackson there are other uh, condition like um, and or um, between conditions which useful as for the requirement for zoom um, uh, we'll use the multiple condition say we'll start from the like condition so if you want to get the records with the employee uh, for example the character a which in between the any employee in the employee table so uh, let's say hit the button you will get um, employee name say manage uh, say Harding Taft for example it's a Jackson so A C A in between the Jackson also see uh, now how many records are there are seven records now if you want one more condition same employee name A start from middle of the employee name also if you want salary is greater than or equal to 32,000 Mm, let's see how much you get records you get to five records with all the salaries are greater than 32,000 
okay so that's one condition um, um, we can also write um, for example if you want uh, say depth department the depth scholar department whose uh, department all the employees whose department are one and two so if you see it only Roosevelt has department one on all grand Adams Monnari and Fillmore has department two you can also write the condition like uh, between um, between say one and three all the department all the employee details of the department in between one and three this is all are the inclusive uh, condition so it's one department is than equal to one or uh, and is less than or equal to three it's not exclusive it's an inclusive condition which retrieves the data um, you can al also write in a different way for example um, if you want to retrieve the records of employee who joined the company uh, say 2000 after 2000 December 2000 so you can write this way this is one December December zero one for example two zero 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 okay so let's see how much only one records so if you want you can write on table condition say nineteen ninety eight who join after nineteen ninety eight so there is also only one record say let's start ninety five how many you got say we got multiple records seven employers who join after 95 okay okay uh, uh, let's uh, take different condition you saw the and condition how you can write the multiple condition with and so you can write uh, say zoom in my name uh, like uh, character in between say n or um, say department is equal to 2 so it follows uh, both the conditions either employee name in between the employee name n anywhere in the employee name or department is equal to so any of the if it's true then you will get the data for example if you remove the all condition and if you put the end condition the both conditions should be matched then only you will get the record otherwise you will not get the record say so same n grant is n is there one row n is there and department 2 is also oh, there that's the condition um, in next video we'll see some more example of select statement and then we'll move to the um, different SQL like uh, insert, update and delete statement. Yep. Thank you.